Hello readers, this is Johnny Hunkins at Popular Hot Rodding Magazine, and today we are here at Bear Racing in Phoenix, Arizona with our 1975 Laguna project. We're actually in the middle of a brake installation that we're going to bring you in a separate video and a separate story, but we wanted to talk a little bit right now about wheel bearings and axle seals. Uh, these cars right here, this car right here is uh, approaching 40 years old and it has the original rear end and it also has the original um, axles, uh, axle tubes, seals and bearings on it and we've got a little bit of a wear situation here. Now we figured there's a lot of cars out here that may have this kind of situation where over time the bearing will sort of eat into the, the hardening on the axle right here. The axle rides right here on this machined race with the, with the bearing. And as you can see right here, there's a big old divot taken out right there where it's gotten overheated or really tight and uh, uh, caused some galling right there. Now if we let this go, it's going to eventually do this around the entire axle and when that happens, it ride will get rough and then it'll get weak and it'll fail catastrophically. So we're going to show you a little bit about how to fix that real easily here. Replacing your axle seals and your axle bearings is not necessarily the easiest thing in the world to do. You've got to pull the axles out and take the rear end cover off and all that stuff to inspect them. So if you ever have the chance to pull the axles out for any, any reason at all, it's a real good idea to inspect your bearings and to inspect the race on the axle that that rides in. Uh, we didn't show you this part on the video, but we had to take the rear end cover off and, uh, and pull the axles out in the process of replacing our brake system here. So whenever you're doing a rear brake system, uh, we really recommend that you inspect that because, you know, it could actually uh, affect your safety and it could be a life or death situation having that uh, bearing rub through all the hardening on the axle and then braking. So uh, it's a good idea to do that whenever you uh, pull your axles out for some reason. Now this is the stock rear end in our 75 Laguna. It is a 10 bolt rear end and like all after 1972 models, it does have the eight and a half inch ring gear. Uh, before 72, the ring gear was 8.2 inches in diameter, so the later ones are stronger for that reason. Now, GM made over seven million of these cars uh, in its lifespan. So they're very prevalent and they all kind of experience the same wear uh, at the end. You'll notice that that seal right there is separate from the bearing. We're going to take both of those out and replace it with one piece that replaces both the bearing and the seal. Now, what we found when we got the bearings for this is that there are actually two different sizes of axle tubes and axles. There's a large one and a small one, so you have to know which one you've got. So don't do like us and go to the parts store and buy the, the big one. This is a part number right here, TRP1563TAV. The one for the larger axle and the larger axle tube is TRP1559TV. Uh, so just make sure that you take your axle with you when you go to the parts store because when you get the part from the store They will not uh, the just there will not be a description in the computer saying this is for a large axle and that one's for a small one Dutch Miller here at Bear is an old hand at this kind of thing He's going to show us a trick using the stock axle to take the seal out and Now Dutch is going to remove the bearing with the slide hammer
Well, Dutch has a special tool that he's going to use to install this bearing in our axle. But what do they do, Dutch, if they don't have that tool? How can a guy do this at home? If you don't have the installation tool, what you want to do is be very careful when you're driving this in with a hammer not to hit the seal, but to always hit on the housing, the edge of the housing, and that will drive the thing in nicely. And you can see where the seal catches it all the way on that housing. The, the special tool catches it that way. That makes it easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm.